Hi everyone, welcome back to another Jaguars in the Barn video. Um, so it's been a, a week or so since I posted my last video where I was um, having issues starting the car. So I'm pleased to report that since then it's been starting okay and everything's all going well. So I'm just going to have a bit of an update today with a few things we're going to do. Uh, it's my birthday the other week, so my family kindly bought me some new mats to go on the inside. So I'm going to slip them in, um, see how they fit. And I've also got the steering wheel to refurbish after doing my seats uh, a few months ago now. So I just thought I'd come down and update you with what I'm doing with that. Um, I've also bought um, some, I'd say, new to me relays that have been tested by um, a company that breaks Jags called um, Auto Reserve Jaguar. I've used them on a few occasions now for some stuff. Always been really good. So I'm going to swap out that relay uh, that was the original fog light relay uh, with I know um, a tested good one so hopefully that'll be all my relays all working all okay and as they should be so I'll just take you down to the bar now and then uh, we'll get on and do those few little things okay so here we are down the barn um, as you, so I've had a few questions about my barn actually uh, we've had the barn for a little while now uh, we've lived here for quite a long time um, but the barn here um, was just originally a three-sided old cow shed, really, um, that we've um, put the new front on. So we've blocked up the wall there, uh, timber framed it out, and uh, clad it all, put in the windows, my view. Uh, got electric into the barn now, uh, and I'm making the doors at the moment. So it's one of those things that as and when I get the opportunity to come down and work on it, I will do so. But many things in life take over. You'll notice my <laughs> homemade flashing up here. Um, it's old sort of cement boarding. I don't think it's asbestos. I think it's old cement boarding. Uh, they're all broken away. So um, we've replaced it with just some old corrugated army I'd laying around the farm. I'm not a farmer, but I do live on a farm. So we've we've done that. Um, so yeah, we're getting there with it. This is the other door just inside on my bench um, that is ready to go and be all reclad. And there's just a few things here that I'm going to be doing today. So the cleaning solution and cloth just to wipe off all the dirt from the steering wheel and just a small bottle of dye um, for it and there we go if you can see that self seal leather paint all in one and this was in sable for my steering wheel which if i've read the codes correctly is the right color so we're going to get that that's just my cleaning solution you would have seen when i did the seats and my new mats. So let's go ahead first of all, we'll get the um, mats put inside. How dirty my car is. It's all looking lush though. So I'm assuming the long one is for the passenger side. These are courtesy of the wife and children. How is it? So that's that one there. I'll pop the bonnet while I'm on this side. So take the car out really. It always goes so grainy inside the barn. Or when I get the lights in, it'll probably be okay. And let's go to the driver's side. And see how this one slides in. So these are just aftermarket mats, they're not original ones. Um, and again, yeah, it goes in there quite nicely. And there's the steering wheel we're going to do. What I think we might do is we might crack the door open and take it outside. Um, might be able to see a bit better. So I will do that now and then we'll come back to the film. So let's see if the old door fires up first of all.
Okay. There we go. I'm running Jaguar. So if it's any better. Oh, look at that. Got my new mats dirty. But there we go. So, uh, yeah, they fit in there quite nice. And the steering wheel is what we're going to have a look at. So we'll um, get the cleaner products up and give that a good clean. Um, in fact, what we'll do first, as I've got the bonnet open, is we'll uh, do that relay. Which is... One here, but we'll switch the car off before we do it. Just belt and braces and all that. So, um, let's go around and in fact, get the release. I just want that fuel to burn off for a minute or so. And yeah, I got from Water Reserve Jaguar, they had a deal on buy one relay, get one free. <laughs> so, I ended up getting I bought two, so they sent me down another two. Um, but yeah, they're all tested, guaranteed, and stuff. And you can see there, let's go outside in the daylight. They're all in uh, good order, marked up, auto reserve lit. So we'll get that swapped out a minute. Okay, that should be long enough. So let's turn her off. And we'll take the dodgy old relay out. And new relay in. Cover on, put that one in my pocket. And we'll pop the lights on, give it a test. Just put the ignition on. Lights on. Run the fog light. Lovely job. Fog light's working. Right. And the job ticked off the list. Let's get all that switched off. Pop light off. Put my lights back to auto. And then the ignition off. So, to the steering wheel. Let's close the bonnet down. And should. There we go. So, we're going to start as before when we've done the seats. Cleaning. So once again, I'm going to the um, upholstery renovation cleaner. Nuero Products Limited, England-based company. So that's the one that I used on the seats. I know that it works. And if I can do it again one-handed, so we'll just agitate a solution for a bit. I'm just going to spray it on. Try and avoid all these areas around here. Um, there's electrical contacts inside there for airbag and horn and what have you. So we'll just let that get off my seat. So soak in for a minute or two. And then we can um, give it a clean off. It worked really well, like I said before, on the seat, so hopefully it'll have the same effect on the steering wheel this time. Let me tell my children have been in here, look. A little um, <laughs> Iron Man Lego. Lego. And those are parents. Well, trodden on some at some stage of their life no doubt so 
All right, let's give this a, a bit of a clean up. I'll probably clean up really well just with this, to be fair. But you can see, on, particularly on this side, uh, it's worn off quite a bit. So um, they're the areas we want to oh, get your fingers out of the shot. We want to redo. So it's just about getting it as clean as possible before we put any of the new paint on. Otherwise, it'll only peel off again and you'll be doing it all over again. So you can see there, hopefully, you can see the dirt that's coming off of it. There you go, yeah, so it's uh, pretty dirty. This is a new cloth. So just fold it over again. So the wood's in good order. It's only the um, leather. So right, I'll go get the dye. We'll do a little test piece to see how it looks. So bear with me. Okay, so I've got the colorant again. You see that? What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little piece square a little bit on my sponge carefully move that out of the way and then on like before I'm just going to do a little piece just to test it there So I'll take a few coats again, like the seat's done. Or did, I should say. So we'll just go over the most effective areas first. Avoid in the wood. You could, if you wanted to, you could mask up the wooden steering wheel. Just to make sure you didn't get any of the... Uh, paint on it but I'm quite happy that if I do I'd just be able to wipe it away quickly I'll just try and avoid it in the first place and it's all about layers again so like we've done with the seats it's going to take a few layers to get it looking right but certainly I think for a color match once again it's um, pretty good. And I think once I've gone over the whole wheel, we should see a good result. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a still photograph. If I can. So we can have a bit of a before and an after. So I'm going to carry on just doing this all over the wheel, and then we'll pick up the video again once I've had a first coat on. Okay, so that's its first coat on. And hopefully you can see a difference already. Now, I know the light's not brilliant. But it's certainly got rid of a lot of the um, original fade-in and scuffs on the outsets. So that's one coat. So we need to let that dry now. And then we can put on our further coats of the colorant. And have to bring it up like new again. So we'll take pictures as we go again. So we'll just take another one now. There we go. Let's get it in the middle of the screen. So we'll keep going. So I say, yeah, we'll let it dry for um, 20 minutes or so, and then we'll put on the next coat. And then we'll uh, video back again when we've put all the coats on so we can see what a difference it's made. Right, so here we are, a little while later on, and that's had three coats of the colourant applied to it. 
and it's come up really, really well. I need to let it dry properly, and I can give it a a buff. Pull that wear on the outside. It's all coloured in lovely. Centre boss. And the other wheel. That's how I think it's come up really, really well. See the uh, Jaguar head. So yeah, very pleased. Yep, yeah, so there we go. Another one ticked off the list again. So what was that? The carpet mats today, the relay, and the steering wheel. So um, yeah, another good bit of fettling down the workshop. Next job, which I've been putting off for a while, and if I say it, I could have to commit to it, is the coolant tower, uh, the thermostat coolant tower. Um, I just noticed when I come back from run sometimes, um, I, I never come up with coolant low or anything like that, but uh, you just can see there's evidence of it's staining uh, where it's been leaking a little bit from there. So um, I have bought a new aluminium one, an upgraded one, and I've um, been looking at how other people have done theirs. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have a go at that myself. I will, of course, film it uh, for anyone else that would be interested in seeing that. So that's going to be one of the next videos. If it's the next one, I'm not sure, but it will definitely be one of the next ones. Um, maybe after looking at the car really good clean because it is filthy dirty. But that's it for another video of Jaguars in the barn. Um, a bit more work done on the XK8. So, yeah, please leave a comment, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you'd like to see more videos from me with what we're doing to the XK8 and my um, X-Type estate. Um, if you haven't, caught up on those videos i've just managed to get that through its mot um here in the uk that is so um, with a bit of welding a few other bits and pieces and i've just swapped out all the power steering fluid on it with something also done today and i've just uploaded that video also so um, please check that out and again if you like it i love reading all your comments it's really interesting keeps me enthused on what i'm doing so that's it for now thanks again take care everybody and we'll see each other again soon